Hello, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. This is the third and final episode of this dungeon. We left off last time with a fight that I'm just collecting the rewards for now. And feeding my bounty hunter once again to get him some hit points. I am able to scout this time, so we'll see what lies ahead. The scouting pays off and shows a trap coming up, which I am able to disarm. We are still taking bleeding damage from the last fight. But at least I know the next room is clear. Moving south to the next empty room, and you can see there's only one interactable object in this hallway. I was going to let my Abomination open this Iron Maiden, but I think his hit points are kind of low, and he took a disease already. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. But we succeeded anyway, and got some coin. We were able to scout ahead again this round, and I see that the next room will probably have an engagement. A fortune waiting to be spent. And it's a full group of spiders. This fight shouldn't be too bad. I buff my grave robber again to start, and I'm able to attack both of the back spiders and get blight on both of them. And now I decide it's finally time to let the abomination loose. He turns into a monster and it causes stress for everyone else in the group. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. The Abomination is quite strong in this form, but I don't use him that frequently because it causes so much stress. It's not looking good for my bounty hunter. He has only three hit points. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. The Blight's doing its work on the remaining spiders, but I want to end this conflict before my bounty hunters on death soar. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. A quick end to that fight, and I have a skeleton key that I got from the victory. The quest is complete, but I can use that skeleton key on this chest. So I do. I succeed and it garners me a special item. I contemplate pressing my luck by pushing on, but I decide I'd better leave. The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel familiar. Now I receive my quest reward and it accounts for all of the items and loot that I had gotten through the dungeon. And at the end of each dungeon you have a possibility of getting a positive or negative effect on your character. These are both positive so I feel lucky. That's all this time. Stay tuned for the next episode and thank you for watching.